Greetings folks, this is a follow-on video from the one I did a couple of days ago on uh, displaying or reading out the value of a, a pot or a slider on screen or on the microphone. Uh, my friend English Turbines asked if we could scale the audio readout uh, to go from 0 to 100 rather than minus 100 to plus 100. He has a friend who uh, flies with one hand uses the right slider as the throttle so uh, he would like to have the throttle position uh, on an audio readout going from 0 to 100 and that's very easy to do what we need is uh, a spare channel uh, that we can apply a curve to to scale the um, the output just the the readout not the actual control value now you've got plenty of spare channels that aren't being used to uh, control anything so uh, let's get stuck into it. Reading out the value of the left slider, but scaling it from 0 to 100 just for the readout. So, let's go to our model. Channel 9 isn't being used for anything and isn't likely to be used for anything, so let's go to that one. So, for channel 9 we have the right slider as the source. Uh, the right slider is controlling channel 9. And we need a weight of 100, and if we go down to... Uh, curve, let's apply a curve and let's use curve 1 and I will set up curve 1 in a minute ok so now we'll go and set up the curve page across to the curves, uh, we'll use curve 1 we'll edit that, don't need a name, type standard count, we only need two points don't need smooth and uh, so now we can edit point 0.1 and point 0.2. Point 0.1 we leave where it is, so that is x at minus 100 and y at 0. And now we'll edit point 0.2. And we want x at 100 and y at 100. So I'll raise that up to 100. So that's good. So now channel 9 is being controlled by the right hand slider, uh, but it is being uh, modified by the, that curve. So let's uh, have a look at the output there. So you can see channel 9 here going from 0 when the slider is at minus 100 to 100 when the slider is at plus 100. So now let's uh, go and set up the display. I may have already done it. No, I haven't. Alright, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll uh, set up the display so we can see what's happening. So, position 1, we'll do the right slider, and position 2 is uh, channel 9. Have a look at the display page, and so, now, right slider is on minus 100, and the value of channel 9 is 0. Right slider plus 100, the value of channel 9 is 100. Now remember, channel 9 isn't controlling anything, we're just using it for the audio readout. So now let's do the audio readout just to make sure that's going to work. So now we set up a, a switch to activate that readout so you don't want it on all the time. Maybe you do want it all on all the time, who knows. Uh, so let's choose, say, 52. Uh, SD switch in the middle position, play value. 52. Into those cooker bars. Play value and play value of channel 9. <laughs> this is a feature of our new house. We have cooker bars singing to us. Channel 9, and we'll say 52. we'll do it every every 52. two seconds for the moment just 52. to um, uh, for demonstration. All right, so now, look at the display page, right slider is on minus 100, and the readout is... Four, zero, zero, up to 52, zero, 52, and up to 100. 100. Now there's another way to do this, you can do it with uh, uh, weight and offset instead of using a curve if you want to. So let's edit channel 9, edit make the weight 50 and the offset 50 get rid of the curve 
should have the same effect. Display page, yeah, so same thing. Channel 9 is reading 0 when the right slider is on minus 100 and 100 when it's on 100. 99, 75, 0. So there you go, you can either use a curve or you can use uh, 50 weight and 50 offset. Um, has the same effect. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.